What's up guys? Welcome back again to my vlog and especially sa mga Apple fans out there. You know, ang saya saya nila kasi Apple just released their updated version on iOS, you know, for the iPhone. And also alongside with it is the iPad OS. But before anything guys, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to click like and subscribe. Okay? So, thank you so much. You're the best. <laughs> I heard guys na malaki daw yung kaibahan niya sa iOS 13 and yeah we'll see about that and I am very excited about that too and so right now guys I'm gonna show you on how to update your iPhones and also your iPad on the latest OS and also guys later I'm gonna show you the biggest update that they have no you know para malaman yun na is it worth to upgrade okay so yeah let's get on with it so right now guys I'm gonna show you on the first step on how to upgrade your iPhone and also your iPad okay so let's go on to the settings click on the settings and go at the general just tap on the software update and your phone will check for updates and yeah here it is it's already available guys and it says download and install it's uh, uh, iOS 14 yeah okay so let's just click on it okay so it's done it's downloading and as you can see guys medyo ma it's a big update kasi 2. Point something 2.3 yung gig yung size niya and so, so yeah it's uh it's requesting update requested so for the ipad the same thing guys just go on to the settings just go on to software update yeah, checking for updates and yeah, iPad OS is already available for download and install. Okay, so click natin yan. Could agree. Medyo mahaba haba doon eh, kasi medyo mabigat yung iOS na iOS 14. Okay, just wait for the download to be completed and yeah. Okay guys, so I have already updated my iPhone. So as you can see guys, it's pretty obvious. Yung una mong ma manu notice is yung mga widget. How does widget works guys? So on this side, nandito yung mga collection ng mga widgets. Paano ba mag-add ng widgets? Just I press and hold yung home screen mode. Tapos yung iPhone mode will be on jiggly mode. And dito guys, left most. Uh, click mo lang yung plus. Tapos ito, meron ng collection ng mga widgets and you can add them and yeah and you can add them so idadrag mo lang yan idadrag mo lang kung saan mo gusto so yeah and to remove the widgets guys for example dito ito just click on the remove yeah that's it tapos if gusto mo naman mag add ng widgets may lalabas na dito click mo lang dyan tapos i-add mo to tapos for example ito guys you selected it and there is an option na you can choose its appearance whether it's a square or medium and then it's very large appearance so depende guys so for example ito add widget and then yeah nandiyan na siya then you could also move it whenever you want whichever you like it okay guys so manu notice no na you know you have so much apps na installed on your phone and then meron ka ng pages na you know uh, medyo marami rami na siyang pages na i-explore mo so that is why guys meron silang ginawa and you can remove those pages by simply press and hold lang yung screen so tapos yung nasa jiggly mode na naman si iphone <laughs> okay so tapos i-press mo lang ito guys and then you can see the pages so yung mga pages na medyo crowded na siya, gusto mo siyang mawala, di na siya appear sa, uh, sa home screen mo, uh, i-antic mo lang siya dito. Yan, and then press done. Okay, so yeah, wala na siya. Tapos directly ka na sa app library. Dito sa app library, pwede mo na type in directly yung app na gusto mo. For example, Facebook. Then, then it will show... For example, Facebook, it will show and then you can open your Facebook now. Ah, just like that. Ito yung mga uh, naka-organize na yung mga apps. For example, sa suggestion, recently added, sa social, creativity. And then if you click on the first three, 
ito sa, sa, ito nga side for example in Lightroom mag open siya directly sa app tapos if dito ka sa side okay, if dito ka sa medyo maliit na ito dito ka magpipress mag open siya sa lahat na sa app na nabilong sa social and also guys the very cool uh, the emoji search uh, for example whichever messaging app na ginagamit mo at tapos gagamit ka ng emoji so for example magta-type tayo ng notes o oh, ito mag-write ka ng notes dito so pag may emoji guys ganito ganyan ma instead of uh, instead of swiping here and there hinahanap mo yung gusto na emoji mo for example uh, masa search mo na siya ngayon for example uh, happy happy So, yung lahat ng mga emojis na connected siya sa happy, lalabas siya sa sun. O, oh, diba? Instead of, instead of swiping and searching, you know, wasting your time searching for the right emoji. So, yeah, itatype mo lang siya, which is very cool. It's a very small, small update, but, pero useful siya and <laughs> cute. Uh, okay, so meron din guys sa call changes, sa phone call. Kasi noon guys, pag may tumatawag sa iyo, yung whole screen mo is filled with the call. So right now guys, naka-minimize na siya. For example, may tatawag. Na ito. So before guys, itong whole screen nito is naka ano yan, naka-display talaga yung tawag sa whole screen. Pero ngayon, naka-minimize na siya sa app. And if you want to minimize it, you just close it and you know, you continue doing what you want to do, pero the call is not yet dropped. It's still there. And you can can you can just leave it there. You know, you know parang nung kung ayaw mong sumagot ng tawag hindi hindi nila iniisip na kinansel mo probably you're busy or something like that so yeah it's a uh, pretty useful guys so and also guys si Siri hindi rin siya naka whole screen so for example guys kasi before sa iOS 13 naka whole screen yung Siri ngayon naka minimize din siya for example hey Siri please set an alarm tomorrow at 9 in the morning Okay, I've set an alarm for 9 o'clock. Yeah, so yun guys. Uh, yeah, yun si Siri, hindi na siya nagka-cover ng whole screen. So, yeah, it's pretty, it's very cool. And also guys, yung feature na in nila, actually, it's uh, na meron na siya sa iPad. They added it on the iPhones. So, it's called Picture in Picture. For example, nanonood ka ng Netflix. Yan. So, for example, guys, you're making a notes, and sometimes you need, you want to watch a movie, and then writing a note. So, before ma kakansel na yung movie and it will stop playing. Ngayon, pwede na siya, guys. So it's called picture in picture. Pwede mo din siyang resize. Yan, you can remove it. Pwede mo din siyang. Pwede mo din siyang resize, guys. Ginto. Ginyan, ano ba? It's very cool. So you can so nandiyan siya tapos may may like chat ka din sa uh, kasama mo sa ano ganun. Now. Okay, it's very cool, yes, ha? Close mo lang. Yes, and ganun na din guys sa uh, Safari for example, YouTube. I try natin mag uh, open ng YouTube video. Ayun, naka full screen na siya. Tapos Ayan guys, uh, naka, so, uh, habang may ginagawa ka sa phone mo, nagno-notes ka, then you're also playing a video in YouTube. So, which is very cool guys, diba? Nare-resize mo din siya. Very, very, nare-resize mo din siya to the very small one. Uh, it's very cool guys. So that's called picture in picture, and actually this feature is already an iPad, and they all uh, they applied it to iPhones, and I think it's very uh, it's very convenient, guys. And also, guys, Apple also added a pre uh, pre installed app, which is the translation, which is very useful, guys. Kung magbabiyahe ka, for example, guys, nagbabiyahe ka or nagtutur ka sa China, eto lang. Good morning. How are you to find out? <laughs> Tapos ipe-play mo lang siya. Ni hapa. 
Mm, diba? It's very, very convenient, guys. So, it's very useful, especially pag nababiyahe ka sa outside the Philippines. Actually, when I was using this, guys, I am happy about it and it's very refreshing. Try nyo mag-upgrade. Okay, so let's go on to the iPad. Actually, wala naman siyang, di masyado ganyan ka laki yung update niya. It's still the same. And dito, guys, sa iPad, wala siya masyadong changes. Yung widget is nandito lang sa pinaka-leftmost part dito sa side ng iPad and pag mag-add ka ng ganito sa pag mag-add ka ng pag mag-add ka ng widget sa other other screen dito i-drag mo siya hindi mo siya malalagay diyan so yan yeah, it's a pretty minimal change lang tapos yung picture in picture it's already it's already in iPad and I think that's it guys, so ano sa tingin nyo guys, uh, mag upgrade pa kayo or maybe you'll stick a while with the iOS 13. Okay, so medyo babikat yung iOS 14, so maybe it will only work good on the 7 up, maybe. So yeah, so comment down below guys if ano sa tingin nyo, is it worth to upgrade in iOS 14. Okay, so kids, so that's it guys. Uh, thank you so much for your time and I hope naman sa susunod, samahan nyo ulit ako. And also guys, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to click like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Okay, bye-bye.